So you've arrived at your boat ramp, you're ready to launch your boat and you're setting up. And what I'm gonna demonstrate now is installation of the track on your boat, getting ready to fish, and then a bunch of accessories. And the point of this is that everything can be done without tools and it can all be done actually rather quickly. So uh, this is my own boat. I have a track that goes from the transom to in front of the rear seat here. And I have a track here, which goes from the transom to the middle seat. Um, okay, so you start off, there's a couple of um, screw holes in this seat for these bolts, and there are slots in the track. So I just put the, uh, the bolts in. I've got these strings on here so that when I take the track off, I don't lose the knobs. Okay, and uh, tighten it down. There are nuts underneath, and that was part of the seat installation process. There are nuts in, in plastic carriers. Okay, that track's installed and ready to fish. Doesn't have to be over tightened, just good and snug. And now we'll do the uh, longer track on the other side. It goes, of course, just as quickly. Line the bolt up with the hole. Tighten the knob. Line the bolt up with the hole. And tighten the knob. And that's it. Uh, both of these tracks are at this point set up and ready to go, I think in less than a minute. You'll notice on this track that some things are already pre-installed. I leave the rod holder bases. This is the base for the fish finder. Uh, and we have other bases located around and that's so I don't have to remember where things go. And these things that are left behind are small enough, you can leave them on and they won't get broken when you throw them in your truck. The first thing I'm going to install here is the fish finder. It goes on this uh, Garmin mount. This is the mount for a Garmin. Uh, mounts for a hummingbird or a Lorentz finder would be different. It's got a nut on top with a, it's a nylock nut, so it's actually a little bit difficult to turn intentionally. So it takes a little bit of time to undo this nut. Uh, alternatively, uh, when you take this off, you could take the whole thing off with the nut in place and that would save you some time. Okay, and then the fish finder has the base with a hole in it. You just line it up and get it lined up. There we go. Get it lined up on the uh, stud that comes up and put the nut back on. Putting it back on is a lot faster because there's not as much to turn. And there you have it. Uh, fish finder is ready to go. It rotates properly and it will rotate this way. Uh, all you do is plug in the battery cable and the transducer cable. This is the install for the horizontal rod rack. A tips holder, hold the tips of the rod. Just goes in this guy, screws into place, and tighten those down, and it's ready to use. The rod rack, uh, unclip this. Put it on the pontoon. Reclip it, pull it up. Tighten it down really securely. Maybe slide it over into place a little better. And that's it. It's ready for rods. On the back, I've got a pair of Yak Attack rod holder bases. And they uh, couldn't be faster to put these on. Like so. And they're ready to fish. Up here on the front, I've got a Scotty. And... Uh, same thing, just drop it in and the Scotty's ready to go. This is the hanging bag accessory. I think it's also one of the most useful ones you can get on this boat. Uh, I have a couple of the utility uh, clips here and all I do is hang this guy right in, okay? 
This is the GoPro track mount. I would tend to leave this, again, like everything else, as a base. I'd leave this uh, sitting on my uh, boat, and all I would have to do is that. Clamp this down, my GoPro is attached. Of course, you can aim it anywhere you want. Now, if you didn't um, leave this guy on, he's very quick to put on. You just loosen these two screws, slide this guy out, put it back on, just drop it back in the slot, tighten the two screws. So it's only a few more seconds extra if you choose to take this off, or you can leave it on. So there's the GoPro track mount camera arm. This is the fitting for the uh, travel mug holder. It's actually the same fitting I used for the tips holder. That is the travel mug holder. And again, you just uh, loosen these guys up, slide this in, and in fact, you can slide it over fairly far. And I tend to position it over here so that it's away from my knees. And it's ready for your coffee. Now you may have a favorite pair of pliers you also want to uh, have handy. So again, this keeps it way out of the way. Um, and there they are. And it's even uh, comes, got your lanyard to work so you don't lose your pliers. This is using a, uh, a utility anchor, I call it. It's just a, a, a circular hole. And then there are utility hooks and I use those on the bag. And those are available in bags. There are other accessories you can get for this. There's a uh, mug, an adapter to hold a Scotty mug holder, and that has a closed out bottom, so it actually holds a water bottle or a can. Uh, there's a radio holder if you like to have your family service uh, radio service or your VHF radio real handy. Uh, the, it, everything goes on and off the track with the same speed that I showed in, in setting up my boat here. So now I'm going to run through a complete setup from start to finish without actually commenting much about it. Uh, there's the array of stuff that just came out of the truck, and this is what you can do if you're reasonably well organized. I'm going to start over here with the short track. Move on to the long track. Scotty rod holder, whoop, put it on backwards. There we go. Fish finder. Pliers just hook on through this clip. A tips holder. Hanging bag, yak attack rod holders, the back end of the horizontal system.
can't go fishing without our coffee. And of course, we're going to take our movies. And there you have it. The track system completely set up and ready to fish.